Hey everybody, it's Blazing903. If you're new to the channel, please hit like and smash that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with touching up two rock chips. I decided to go with Touch Up Direct, and as you can see there, they have a Fiat Direct color match, and the white is called Bianco Gelato. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. And here's a quick look at the instructions. Step number one shape paint properly. Step number two, apply primer, which we're going to skip. Step number three, apply two to three light coats of the base coat, which is the color, while allowing five to 10 minutes of drying time in between the coats. The final step, which is step number four, is to allow 15 to 30 minutes after applying the last coat of the base coat, and then applying two to three coats of the clear coat also allowing five to 10 minutes of drying time in between the coats. So I'm going to start with the one in the front bumper first, just in case I make a mistake. I think that one would be less noticeable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some here. Just kind of push the pen in and let the paint seep out. Now I have a drop right here. I'm going to use that paint as a dab here. That didn't work. There it is. Okay. I just kind of removed the excess around my finger there because um, I want to go ahead and build, I want to build layers in there. So what I did was I just dabbed it in there and then I removed the excess. And a little bit of advice here, since we're using the applicator and putting a dot of paint on a piece of paper, um, be sure to clean this in between your coats. So what I'm using is, I'm simply using a um, an old t-shirt. I am just taking the applicator and squeezing it and making sure all the paint is removed from the tip there, because I don't want that drying out and causing any barriers for me. Um, and so that's just a simple little tip. I think it's helping um, the tip is staying fresh, it's staying clear, it's staying lint free, it's staying everything. So, so far, um, fixing the chips is going pretty well. And I went ahead and applied a second coat here to this rock chip. Is a little bit raised, but just like with the other rock chips, within a few minutes, it will sink itself in. But I wanna take a moment to give kudos to Touch Up Direct. They nailed the color matching for the Fiat Spider Luso. Um, the Bianco Gelato is spot on. And here's an update on the progress that I'm making as the coats are drying. This is on its second coat here, barely visible. This one's coming out really, really good. I don't think this one needs more than two coats. I'm gonna hit that with the clear coat next. This one here is coming out well. Um, from afar, as you can see, you can barely tell. It's not until you get close, which is at this point, I'm a few inches away. Um, you can see it's a little bit raised, but I just applied a third application to that one. Okay, so this rock chip here is ready for the clear coat and as per the instructions, it should go on wet. So we're gonna go ahead and dab it on this piece of paper, make sure it comes out and use the same method that we were using to um, have full control. And that's it. Just um, one drop over the painted area and we'll wait about 15 minutes and hit it with um, a second coat and possibly a third. So I'm about to apply my second application of the Touch Up Direct Clear Coat. I have already put a dot of clear coat on here just because that is just my preferred method at this point. Seems to be working. And that's it. One dot. That's all it takes. And here's the final product. After three applications of the 
Bianco Gelato by Touch Up Direct and two applications of the clear coat. This is from a few feet away, hard to tell that there was even touch up paint applied. So when you're closer at this point, I'm a few inches away. At a few inches away, you can see right here. And that's like literally an inch and a half, two inches at the most away. That's how close you have to get to see it. So not a deal breaker for me at all. Um, this one here, um, same, same concept here. Um, I am at this point maybe a foot away. So this one you can see a little bit better from a foot away, unlike the other one. So it's right here. And as we get closer, 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 here we are at probably two inches away. This is what it looks like. Not the worst thing in the world. Neither one is a deal breaker for me. I'm happy with the outcome. I'm happy with the product. This is a phenomenal product. If you have any rock chips, I strongly recommend you get in contact with Touch Up Direct. Their color matching process was spot on. I'm really thrilled with um, how the paint looks to the OEM. But at the end of the day, this is my weekend toy, so I'm thinking of either plastic dipping the car so that I can have a really unique color and truly make it pop, or vinyl wrapping it. If I plastic dip it, I could do it myself. If I vinyl, vinyl wrap it, I gotta pay somebody. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. And my final thoughts on the product is uh, resounding and definitive, yes, I strongly recommend this product. Not only because the color matching is near perfect, is the ease of use. The only thing you need to bring to the table is a little bit of patience. And that patience comes by way of waiting 10 to 15 minutes between applications. So the final outcome, you saw it in the video already, it's the rock chips are pretty much gone. You really got to get to the point of one or two inches away from the vehicle to even see that there was touch up paint there. So with that kind of end result, how can I not recommend this product? Thoroughly happy with the final outcome. And with all that said, and with all that done, till the next one, drive safely.